Hi everyone, welcome back to another painting demo. Um, today I'm going to be painting um, a view from Cornwall called Port 11 and it's like on a very very stormy day the, the beach is absolutely kicked up with surf and um, the sky is very grey. So I thought I'd have a go at sort of producing a really atmospheric painting. So um, let's get started. I've mixed up some deep colours. I'm starting with uh, what am I starting with? Windsor blue, that's it, and burnt umber for the sky. And I want this to be, I'm probably going to be revisiting this and adding lots of colours into it. I want to make sure I'm using my, my hake brush. Okay, I'm just going to stick that a piece of wood under there enable me to prop that up a bit. Still see that fine. Okay. Then in the distance the sea is quite blue. So I'm just gonna put that you can't see lots of this sea blue because after that it's just mostly surf. In fact it goes a little bit green in places. It's that sort of really heavy bluey green. I'll just try and pop a bit of that in. Just uh, just in the background where the waves are starting to come in. Right, now I'm going to go for the headland before I do any more. Now that's a really heavy, warm, warmish grey going on up here. But it does take a bit of thinking about. Just because the paper's wet, I'm not going to launch into it and paint in a way which I'll lose. the detail because if I'm not careful because the paper is so wet the paint will just lose itself in the paint. Now there's some little cottages up there. I'm going to lift the paint out for that. Some more headlands in the back there. It appears to go on forever and I'm just going to reinstate those waves that are crashing in at the back. They're very sort of hazy, but they're there. Same with this area. And I'm just going to use the brush to try. And get the waves to come in. That's okay. There's a nice rock. I'm just going to put it in lightly to start with. And then the beach itself is running across here and the sea comes in there and then the sand goes up and I'll lose my rocks now because they're not dark enough but now I want to change the colour now it's gone a bit bluer where the sand is where the water's just run over it and the sea goes out here and that's okay that's the right sort of colour. And then as we come up the beach, it starts to warm up again quite considerably.
Once we've got this first wash in, we can relax. This first wash is just getting the actual guts of the picture in. If you like, you can go right in here. Okay. So we clean my brush again. Oh, splash some water into the sky. But that's okay. I'm using Arsh um, watercolour paper and it really is beautiful. And we've got here We've got some light patches. So I'm going to take a gamble. Just go back in. Hopefully that will level itself out. clean the brush again. You've got to be very careful when you're doing skies like this because you don't want to um, do what I did. They come in quite nice. Now the pa paper is just starting to dry and at times that's working itself into my favour because I'm getting some hard edges and some soft. And that's that rock, where was it? Here. Could be a bit warmer. Too cold. Another one behind it. I don't want to play around with it too much. And up here there's some cottages. If I can just lift out a little bit of paint. Later I'll be able to describe these cottages. You can only just faintly see them. So I'm just lifting out a little bit of paint just so later I can add, suggest them and put them in. Just like that. So there's just a light patch up there. And I'd hate to miss them completely. And I think that's enough because later I can come back and uh, it just ain't going to happen. So put these rocks in here. And we'll come back and add our detail. Whoop. A few more waves in here in a while. I need to get some more darks in here.
kind of think that's at the moment it's about as far as I can go with that. A bit of a, what I need now is just do this bit. It to dry a bit. Then I can come back and. Okay, now I'm just dropping in the uh, start to build some detail up in the waves in the back here. Just keeping some edges hard and some edges soft. Not all hard edges and not all soft edges. Just a mixture of the both of the of the two. Just to create to this sort of. Uh, illusion that the sea is being kicked up there. <clears throat> now I want to come down here. Create those little waves. Now as the waves get closer to me, I'm just using the edge of the brush to uh, suggest broken waves. Some darker colour in there quickly. And just underneath where the wave's curling, I'm just dropping in some darker colour. Just so it shows up better. And just where the sea starts to pull out off the beach. It's about having the confidence to do those nice, get that nice broken edge, a bit of dry brush, just so you end up getting a bit of sparkle on the page. Okay, I'm just going to give this bottom end of the bottom corner of the, of the painting um, a, like a wash of uh, cool colour. So I just want to make it uh, sit down a bit so it doesn't look so prominent. So I'm just going to go over everything here in this corner. Just so it all blends in a bit more. same with those rocks actually just sometimes this just helps to make everything sit down a little bit Okay, now I'm just going to draw some detail in with the rigger. Still not quite dry. I just want to get some, just using parts of the brush to to highlight in places, just so we can get some texture in the rocks because they're not just uh, you know flat. They have got lots of texture and interest.
see we down here on the beach just indicate that in places and when I'm doing the seaweed I'm not you know trying to paint every little bit I'm literally just highlighting little parts of it Okay, I'm just going to finish off by putting a couple of figures in the painting, so that helps give it scale and size. Mm. Um, just going to drop them in. make a big thing about it. I want them quite muted, I don't want them in bright colours necessarily. Um, just to uh, Just to add a bit of interest, really, to the scene. And we'll have the other one. And don't forget the head. And that's it really. We've got a couple of figures walking across the beach. That helps give everything scale and puts it in place sort of thing. Again even with the figures you want to make sure that some of the edges on the figures are soft and they blend into the, into the background. You don't want everything uh, sort of hard and you know cut out and sort of stiff looking. You want it to blend in. Now there's those cottages up here I just want to put the roofs on and again it's just a suggestion of these little cottages. Some windows. Just to show the viewer that there is something up there. That's all, that's all we need to do up there. But apart from that, that's it really. I just think it's a nice sort of simple, quite dramatic watercolour. And um, we could put a mount on it. There we go, just put that there. Maybe get a mount around it. You've got a nice crisp edge around the picture. It kind of finishes it off. But, you know, it's quite a simple painting. Um, limited palette of colours but we've got the nice light area through there which draws your eye to that area. We've um, got the rocks and we've got the waves coming in but very subtly painted not over painted which people tend to do sometimes. Um, if you enjoyed this little demo please go um, have a look at my website the link is below and also um, you can check out my Facebook page and you can also um, like I said, visit my website where you can join a free members area where there's um, a forum and there's also videos you won't find on YouTube but they're tutorial videos on how to paint watercolour and they're added to every fortnight as another new video goes up. But that's totally free and uh, all you've got to do is just register to be a member to the site and that's it. Okay, all the links for them are Facebook and the website are below the video. Well, thanks so, so much for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and look out for another video soon. Bye for now.